Good morning. You're watching the morning news on CNN News 18. I am Anjali Pandey, and across the next hour, we'll bring you the top stories from across the country and the world. Starting off the bulletin with some breaking news that's coming in. Khalistani vandals attacked the Indian High Commission in London. Indian flag was ripped off the building, and several window panes were even smashed. Slogans were also raised in support of Khalistan, and in fact, placards demanding release of fugitive Amritpal Singh were also seen. Now, India has lodged a strong protest with UK. The senior-most UK diplomat in New Delhi was summoned to convey India's strong protest at the actions taken by separatist and extremist elements against the Indian High Commission in London. CNN News 18's Sanjay Suri with more details. Listen in. The Indian High Commission here in London, targeted by vandals, a group of Khalistanis descended on the High Commission on the afternoon of Sunday. They carried Khalistan flags, they raised Khalistan slogans. Some were carrying placards demanding the freeing of Amritpal Singh. At one point, one of the protesters climbed onto the balcony here. He pulled down the Indian flag, and some people below were pulling it down. He then tried to hoist a Khalistan flag right there. At that point, he was stopped by a security man from the Indian High Commission, and he came down. And all this was over a period of time. They clearly took their time doing all this. There was no police present. There was no security presence. Someone clearly called the police, and at some point, a few policemen did come along on motorcycles, and they confronted some of these people, but not very effectively. Quite evidently, from a video. coverage that we have seen of the incident in fact at one point some of these protesters pushed the police back and they had to get them out of the way the police made a statement later saying that when they arrived most of the protesters had left that clearly was not the case a number were around but the police made no move to apprehend them or to arrest them there the police statement says that later in the day one person was arrested some place away from here and that uh, he has been arrested on suspicion of violent disorder so a shocking incident has come to the fore from london where khalistani vandals attacked the indian high commission the indian flag was ripped off the building and several window panes were smashed in fact slogans were also raised in support of khalistan and placards demanding release of fugitive amritpal singh were also seen Now India has lodged a strong protest with UK and the senior most UK diplomat in New Delhi was summoned to convey India's strong protest at the actions taken by separatist and extremist elements against the Indian High Commission in London. Now remember Punjab police is still searching for fugitive Amritpal Singh and on the other hand this shocking incident has taken place in London where Khalistani vandals attacked the Indian High Commission and there were placards also seen demanding release of fugitive amritpal singh our correspondents abhishek jha and siddhant are joining us on this story to give us more details on this abhishek can you tell us more about this incident that took place in london uh, clearly this was one of the uh, recent days one of the major uh, vandalism attack at indian high commission in london uh, and we saw a few dozen people uh, with all khalistani flags uh, they marched there and they sort of uh, you know Uh, one of them uh, st- one of them climbed on the top of it and uh, tried to bring down the flag in the flag also the windows were smashed uh, in the few videos that have surfaced online we could see that there are multiple uh, you know clashes also happening little scuffle also happening with a, a small number of police forces present there so uh, clearly uh, like the, this this whole incident that has happened in london uh, raises concern on two issues first uh, the rising uh, threat of extremist groups like khalistan in london and the second the way they have been allowed to remain uh, you know operative in london and in the one of the most uh, uh, secure region of london that is indian high commission uh, when the, the situation has uh, become very uh, you know aggressive and violent from the side of protesters of khalistani groups or khalistani sympathizers the police uh, not only uh, uh, did uh, you know take any action but they also were present in a very small number and the, we we could not see for a very long time that any other backup forces call so just imagine that these people could have entered the um, uh, the high commission uh, and the threat and the danger they they posed uh, to the uh, officials or the staff present at the high commission and police couldn't have done anything so the leniency from the from the 
uh, the videos that that is very much clear that uh, that was given to the protesters from the uh, side of London police is very concerning, and probably this is the reason why Indian uh, uh, External Affairs Ministry had in the very late evening called or summoned uh, the High Commission of uh, of UK UK in, in Delhi, and he was given a strong uh, protest. India lost a strong protest about uh, the the whole situation. That how did these these many numbers of Palestinian sympathizers reach? Uh, the High Commission, they protested for for so long and they uh, they vandalized and police did not take any action. Remember, there was no arrest made for a very long time and one arrest was made in London after, uh, you know, several of these protests and uh, the Indian, Indian side uh, expressed their strong concern. And that too was not from the protesting side, but from the other side. So what the police uh, in action tells that uh, somehow the UK authorities were not confident enough to take action and that is a very strong and very alarming sign coming from London uh, for the Indian High Commission staff and the local authorities. Right, Abhishek. Siddhant, I'd like to come to you. Siddhant, how has Indian authorities, how have the authorities in India reacted to this whole incident? Well, look, uh, it has been uh, the most the strongest protest ever, in fact, uh, lodged by Indian government as far as these, uh, these Khalistani groups uh, working abroad uh, in their activities are concerned. And uh, not just they were protesting outside Indian High Commission office in London, but uh, a person could be seen climbing to the first floor of the office, bringing down the national flag and, and you know, trying to raise Khalistani flag. And in fact, uh, uh, a video is also available where, uh, where High Commission staff has protected uh, the Indian flag, uh, 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 Indian flag and, in, and, and he pulled the flag back. So, so the image are really disturbing and this is perhaps the reason that uh, around 10.30 last night in India that uh, the senior most UK diplomat was summoned by, uh, by, by the government of India and explanation was demanded for, uh, from her and in fact uh, uh, and she was also told that how the British police were, was completely absent from the spot where the Khalistani for justice groups were protesting and and the and the demand which they were making was no action should be taken against Amrit Pal Singh. So the protest was against the action which Punjab police is taking against Amrit Pal Singh and 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 its uh, and its company. Also, I would also like to draw attention to a larger conspiracy of Sit for Justice. In a week's time, this is perhaps for the second uh, time that, uh, that uh, India's foreign office uh, uh, was vandalized. If you remember, a few days back in Brisbane, Khalistani protesters blocked the, uh, 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 blocked the route of, 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 uh, of, a, of a consulate uh, in Brisbane. And after police intervention only, area was cleared. So this is the second time that a foreign office was vandalized. But this time, the gravity and the intensity was high because the national flag was uh, was was damaged and it was brought down and this is perhaps the reason that indian government has reacted in a very strong manner and All in right. fact uh, the explanation has been sought from uh, from from the from the from, from the from the highest level of diplomat here in india right so